Welcome back everyone. You may be in a situation where your iPhone is just taking up a bunch of data on your device and it seems like a lot of it may be like system data or something like that. Now I will definitely tell you um, the main thing that can possibly fix this is to back up all of your data from your phone and then pretty much factory reset it and then go ahead and pretty much you know manually bring your data back on. Now most people don't want to do that because that's kind of a huge tedious process. So the fastest thing you can possibly do to delete some of your system data is to go ahead and manage some of your applications. So if you go ahead and make your way over to your settings panel. So if you go into settings, you go down into general and you click iPhone storage, you'll come into this panel. Now you can go ahead and go through and pretty much scroll down and see all the applications that are taking up a bunch of data on your device. Now typically what I do is I pretty much just scroll down here and I will delete any application that I don't really need anymore. So what this will do, not only will it delete some of the app data, but it may delete some system data because things like cache and random login information, different things like that, it does take up some data in the background. So you might as well just go ahead and delete some of that data like that and that could be one thing you can do. Now another thing I'd recommend doing is actually going through, scrolling back and scrolling down into Safari. So let's go and go down to Safari, which is right here. What you can do here is you can go ahead and click clear all history and website data. Now what this is going to do is it's going to save you a little bit of data in that system data you know, little option as well. Sometimes if you have a bunch of things stored in your history, then this is another thing you can do. Do keep in mind this is probably going to delete any login information you have. So that's another thing you have to remember as well. So hopping out of this one, Another thing we can do too is actually go through and pretty much delete any updates that we may have on our device. So if we make our way to iPhone storage, if you see any updates here that are randomly like iOS 15 update or iOS 13 update or whatever like that, you know, iOS 16 in the future, you can go ahead and go through and delete those specific updates as well. And that's another thing you can do to pretty much limit the specific situation as well. I've been in a lot of different situations where I randomly had to go through and just delete updates here and that will go ahead and delete system data as well. Now, if you are experiencing a situation where system data is just abnormally way bigger and it shouldn't be like that at all, you may actually have to go through and update your iPhone. So back in your settings panel, you want to scroll down to general, you want to scroll down again to software update, and you want to see if there's a software update available for your device. Now, most of the time there might be, if there isn't, you may still have to do factory data reset, backup before, and then go from there. But if there's an update available, I'll probably recommend updating your phone, and that can also help delete some storage as well because there's a random little bugs and glitches that happen with your you know, software panel and with your phone in general. So you're going to have to go ahead and the best thing to do here is to go ahead and update your phone and that will probably end up fixing it as well. So those are a few different ways to go ahead and fix your system data storage if for some reason it's just abnormally big. If you have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.